What up, y'all? Preston Smiles here. John C. Maxwell says that leaders know the way, go the way, and show the way. These are four lessons on leadership that we can all learn from the geese. So, geese and birds, have you ever noticed how sometimes they fly in a V formation? Right? Why they do that is because they can fly 71% further as a team than they can alone. Why? Because each flap lifts the bird behind it. Each flap supports the bird behind it. You see, when we share a common goal and a common direction, we can get there much further when we do it together. Raise your hand if you know who Horace Grant is. Raise your hand if you know who John Paxton is. Raise your hand if you know who Bill Cartwright is. Nine out of 10, you don't. But you know and can raise both hands when I say, who is Michael Jordan? You see, the difference is, is that leadership says, even if I'm not Michael Jordan and I'm John Paxton and all I do is set up outside the three-point line and bust my threes, or I'm Horace Grant and I go in and I grab my rebounds, or I'm Bill Cartwright and I take the fouls, that all of it is the same. You see, I'm calling us all to leadership, even if you're not the Michael Jordan in your company, even if you're not the Michael Jordan in your family. You're still a leader, and it is your job to flap and lift whoever's behind you. Leadership, lesson number two from the geese. When a goose is flying and it falls out of formation, when it falls out of formation, it quickly feels the drag of being out alone by itself and does its best to get back into formation. You see, how many of us have made a mistake? How many of us have done the thing that, that deserves reprimanding and then stayed out of the group, stayed out because we messed up? No, the goose, the geese, when they fall out of formation, they quickly come back in. That's your job. No matter where you are in your evolution, no matter where you are with the team, if you true leaders recognize when they've made a mistake, come back to their crew, to their employees, and say, you know what? Because let me tell you something, guys something. There's nothing worse than a proud leader. I asked myself, my partner in shine, Alexi, and I were talking the other day about Blockbuster and, and Netflix. And, and just like the idea, I'm quite sure that, that the CEO of Blockbuster got a call or got an email from somebody that was like, yo, we might want to start switching things up. We might want to, you know, go to digital. And I'm sure, based on results, that the CEO of Blockbuster was like, you know what? Nah, man, we got a good thing going here. I'm staying in it. DVDs for life. Well, look where he is now. You see, that pride will get you caught up. That pride will have you lose your business. That pride will have you lose your family. Leaders understand and, and take support from the flock. Remember, they can, they can go 71% further as a group than they can as an individual. And it's the same on the other side. Leaders offer their support. They recognize when somebody is out of alignment. Leaders recognize when one of the birds is out of alignment, which brings me to lesson number three. You see, the geese, when somebody falls sick or when somebody is, is out of alignment, two geese go with that goose and land until they get better. Lesson number three is take care of your people. You wanna take your business to the next level? You wanna take your life to the next level? Don't forget about your people. So many times it's all about the bottom line. Everybody's trying to get the money. Everybody's trying to take care of the, the, the shareholders and all of that stuff. I'm telling you that when you take care of your people, your people will take care of you. When you care about people's well-being and take care of them, they will take care of you. We get so much further as a crew than we do alone. And when you treat the janitor like they're less than in the building that you walk into every day, 
That is a reflection of your company. That is a reflection of your life. There are no throwaway people in this world. Leaders understand that. And they make sure that they take care of their people. They go down and they rest with them. You see, when the geese are flying, and whoever's in front, if you notice, just notice this, the next time you're, you're watching geese fly, they bark at each other, they honk. Ank, 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 and they're honking at each other. That honking is encouragement. They're saying, keep going, you got this. And when that one gets tired, another one comes up and they, they encourage that one. You see, leaders come from the affirmative. You know, when somebody makes a mistake, they don't punish them. They say, you know what, you can do better. They encourage them from the affirmative. Look at these guys. Yeah! <laughs> Those are my boys right there. Leaders, leaders encourage their people. They incite. They, they not only incite, they enable and get out of the way. Whoa! How many of you so-called leaders are out there trying to do everything? You're trying to cook the french fries and the burgers. You're trying to make everything happen all at the same time. You get to enable and get out of the way. That is where the magic happens. You see, leaders, leaders, not only know the way, not only go the way, but they show the way. This is Questions with Preston. Make sure you go to PrestonSmiles.com and sign up. I have something really awesome coming. Um, click like, subscribe if you're new to the family, and share this message. Guys, I love you guys so much. It is going down in a beautiful major way. Ooh, ooh. Every test in our life either makes us bitter or it makes us better. You see, problems come in and they either make us or they break us. And you choose on a day-to-day -day basis, on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, whether you're going to be a victim or a victor.